Got bugs? I'm going to tell you how to get them off in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Patrick, and if this is your first time here at Travels with Delaney, welcome. We're your channel all about RVing and living life to the fullest. Now, if you're like us, when you take your RV out on the road, you tend to accumulate a lot of bugs on the front of it. But getting them off is a lot harder than how they actually arrived on your RV. So normally I just end up using scrub pads and a lot of elbow grease to try to get those bugs off. And I've even tried different chemicals. But just recently Don over at Awesome Products reached out to us and said he had a product that would make my life a lot easier when it comes to cleaning the bugs off of our RV and our vehicles. And so he asked if he could send me some of his product to try out. And I said, absolutely. I'm always excited to try out a new product, especially one that makes my life a little bit easier. So he sent us these bugs off pads. Now these bugs off pads say they're quick and easy in terms of removing bugs from your vehicles. Now it says they're safe for any kind of vehicle or surface. So I was really excited about that. He actually sent me his easy reach kit, which includes three of these pads and these pads are reusable and it came with this applicator where it'll just stick to the pad and all we have to do is put one of our extender poles on it and it's gonna make reaching up here a lot easier. So what I thought we would do today is we would go ahead and put the bugs off pads to the test and see if we can actually get these bugs off of the front of our RV. So I'm gonna be using our power washer. Now you don't need a power washer to do this. It's just what I use typically. Now I have an electric 2300 PSI. Never wanna use anything too powerful on the RV because I don't wanna strip off any graphics or do any damage, things like that. But the process we're going to use today is I'm going to basically just rinse down the trailer to get it wet. Then I'm gonna go ahead and foam it up. And then we're going to scrub with these pads and see if they come off. Now, to see how well they actually do work, I'm gonna do one side with the bugs off pads, and I'm gonna do one side with the brush that I typically use, and we'll compare and see which side actually came cleaner. Now, one of the things I'm really excited about, any of you who watch our channel know, I love finding products of American-owned companies and American-made products, and this just happens to be one because right here in the upper corner you'll see the American flag and it says made in the good old US of A. So let's give these a, a try. I'm really excited and I hope they work as well as I think they're going to. Now one of the cool things about the Bugs Off pads is you don't have to use any special chemicals for them to work. You just use whatever you would normally use to wash your RV or your vehicles. And so, you know, I use different things at different times. Um, sometimes I like to use this Armor All wash and wax. I actually have some of the Camco RV wash and wax. But today I think what I wanna do is I wanna try out this Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash. Um, it's a shampoo and conditioner. I know Meguiar's makes some great products. I bought this haven't tried it so we're gonna go ahead and use this today so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up my foam canister just go ahead let's pour some of this right on in now this appears to be a nice thick product so that should be good to start with a little thicker than some of the other products I use. So we'll see how this works. It does say it works good with a foam cannon. And now what we have to do is we're gonna start by, I always like to rinse whatever I'm washing off first, get it wet. Then we'll come back, we'll foam it, and then we're gonna put those bugs off pads to the test. Now, before I start rinsing this off, hopefully these are gonna show up on the camera and you can see it's pretty dirty. There's quite a few bug spots. Now I've seen it worse, but it's still spring here in Indiana. And so we haven't quite gotten the bugs as bad as we'll see this summer. All right, I'm gonna take you up here so you can see that didn't actually even do anything to all these bug spots. So hopefully you can still see them. They are all still on here. So now 
let's go ahead and foam it up. Now we've got the foam on. I'm just gonna let it kind of work its little magic for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get out the brush that I normally use. So this is the brush that I have been using, and I'll be honest, it's really not that effective. The good news is it's really soft, but unfortunately on these tough bugs, that's why they don't come off and I end up scrubbing to get them off. But I want to do the brush on one side and we're going to set up our bugs off pads to do the other side. So I have this extension wand. So I'm going to go ahead and I already own this and it just screws in to our extender pad. And let's go ahead and open up and take one of these out. Now my kit came with three and again if you buy this extender kit you get three pads and the attachment and all we do I believe is yep it just does that it just sticks right to it so all right now we're ready to go what I do have and I'm gonna grab is I have a bucket of water it's just straight up water that way I'm going to soak or get both of these brushes wet I'm gonna use this brush on this side let's go ahead I'm gonna dip this in just so it's wet Now, let's try our bugs off pad on the other side. see some bugs yeah still got quite a few here again don't know how well these are showing up on the camera but we got quite a few right here and come over here now it looks like we still have some with the bugs off pad but I have to be honest I wasn't pushing at all and um, so let's try it with a little bit more pressure this time now what's nice about these is you don't have to use this applicator and uh, here's what I want to show you. Look at all the bugs this has taken off. But like in these areas where you can't really use the wand, you can just take it off and use it by hand. And those literally just came off just like that. Look at that. That's great. There's some of those that are just, unfortunately, these are left over from that Florida trip back in December. But they are coming off. And you can see I'm not, I'm not like doing anything crazy like I normally would have to do where I really have to be scrubbing. I mean these, I'm just kind of just barely putting some pressure and the bugs are coming off. Let's do this. Let's head over and try the front of my truck because I think it's pretty buggy as well. Oh yeah. I don't know if this is showing up on camera or not, but we've got lots and lots of blood bugs. Ugh, I'll get it out a long hair so let's give it a quick rinse and then we'll try the pads on the tundra all right truck's done looks good there you go bugs off quick and easy the love bug remover pads these things they really do work
I'm impressed and I'm definitely going to be ordering a few more just to have. Now they are reusable, you can rinse them out, keep reusing them, um, but the nice thing is I can carry them with me if we're traveling, I can have them to use even if we go to one of those pull through do it yourself places, I can get this out, get the bugs off real easy, or I can use them here at home. So. A huge shout out and thank you to Don over at Awesome Products. This truly is an awesome product and it works well and it's made right here in America. So if you want to give them a try, I'm gonna put the link to these down below. They do sell different kits, so check out all their products. And if it's something you think you might wanna have, I encourage you to go ahead and click on that link and give them a try. I've got a, car, a truck to finish washing and a trailer, so I guess I better get busy. Thanks everybody for watching. Until next time, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.